Hey guys, how are you? This is Lauren with X-Grid Campers and we are here at Overland Expo West 2023. Uh, it's an exciting day for us. We are here with three of the uh, Australian off-road campers. Last year we debuted the AOR Sierra and the Sierra ZR at this event. And today we have for the first time in the US the AOR Odyssey and the Quantum Plus. These are two hybrids that are 100% built in Australia, um, meant for any terrain. They've been tested in the Outback for 20 years and now they're finally here in the US. So let me show you around the Odyssey to start. So one thing I love about the AOR Odyssey is the expansive kitchen. It has a ton of prep space. As the kitchen pulls out, you slide back the main prep tray right there and now you have your three burner sink as well as your hot and cold running water. We have a nice utility drawer here for long utensils and a huge storage drawer right here for the big pots and pans, all the gear you need, cutlery drawer, slides away, nice and compact. And then on this side, there's a nice deep drawer with a secondary prep tray. So this again allows you to put in some pantry items, just cereal boxes, all the, uh, all the main things, all the cooking stuff that you need right there. On this unit, we have the Superpeg 180 awning. This is a new product that was designed for AOR. We're super happy with it. It pulls all the way out. It has two tie downs on, the, on each side. Totally freestanding right now. We can tie it down with additional guy wires for a heavy wind. Now, one thing people always ask us about the uh, uh, teardrop market and the campers in the US is sometimes the teardrops just aren't big enough, but you still wanna stay lightweight. What's great about the AOR Odyssey is it's only about 3,100 pounds dry so you can tow it with a light truck a forerunner a tacoma something like that you can get in there but it has a hybrid so as we walk in you can stand up you have a little bit of space to move around let's take a look so this is the interior space right now we have a queen bed it's lifted up it's on hydraulics we have a dinette there's a dinette table that sits under here it's a lagoon table so you can see you know four people or so right here and you have the interior cooktop the fridge is accessible from the inside and the outside so when you're standing out cooking you can open that up and we have t plenty of drawer storage, nice deep drawers, lots of room, put additional pantry item storage, and of course your clothes. So when you're ready to turn in for the night, this just comes down really easy, nice one-handed operation, sits right down there, and now you have a nice queen bed really good thick mattress not a cheap foam mattress really comfortable again i'm standing in here plenty of room to get up in the morning put on my clothes i have the sink right here again hot hot water right here as well so in the morning or at night i can brush my teeth it's all right here i don't have to leave the camper i've got the three burner stove so if you want to make a pot of coffee or some oatmeal or something simple in the morning you can do that if you don't want to go outside if you have bad weather you can be inside here and have plenty of room and comfort for two to three people this model does come optional with a single bunk above the back bed, so you can sleep three inside right here if you'd like to. So let me show you the next feature. I'm gonna show you the outdoor shower, which could also be used as a kid's annex room. Let's take a look here. So this rear pod is already attached. It's on hydraulics, it folds up. The whole canvas is already built in there, so when we drop it down, it folds up. And as you walk in, this is an entire shower room back here. You can use it for a portable toilet. We have the bullfinch connection right here for your hot and cold running water. Um, the floor can be removed, so that way if you do want to use it for a privacy area for showering, the water can drain out. If you decide you want to use it for extra sleeping space, there's plenty of room for two cots for kids in here. Um, and so you have a lot of versatility with this room. You have gear storage, and then the screens drop down so you have total privacy. The front of the Odyssey is fantastic. We have the spare tire here. This actually has a built-in trash bag right here. So this folds open, you can put trash. We have the diesel can for the diesel, the Wobasso furnace and hot water heater, a couple spots for additional jerry can holders, as well as two 11 pound propane tanks. So plenty of power, large deck up front. If you wanna strap on extra gear right here, you can do that as well. This unit can come equipped with a dirt bike mount as well. So if you wanna carry a dirt bike, you can do that up here. The chassis is a super galvanized, high tensile uh, steel chassis all the way through. And it uses a proprietary uh, independent uh, trailing arm suspension, dual shock trailing arm suspension. The hitch is the Cruise Master DO35, fully articulating. We use that on all the AOR units. So it gives you full control, full articulation there, as well as a handbrake and the ARC 750 jack. So that's the Odyssey. Let me show you a couple highlights on the new Quantum Plus. This is a 16 foot hybrid. Uh, it's a fantastic unit for a family. We can sleep up to five people in here with bunk beds. We have 90 gallons of water in this particular unit. Lots of feature, lots of minutes. Let's start on the outside. Again, large kitchen, tons of prep space. The kitchen slides out, the prep space uh, opens up this way. A large storage compartment for all your gear. 
two nice drawers up top for cutlery. You have your sink, three burner stove, large uh, cooler, 12 volt cooler, as well as a deep storage area with a nice prep uh, tray up top there. So lots of room to put all your gear. Built-in pantry right up here, put all your favorite food. And let's take a look on the inside. So this is the inside of the AOR Quantum Plus. Love this unit. Again, it's, a, it's set up right now for a family of five. Queen size bed here, regular mattress, very comfortable. We have a bunk up top there with the guardrail. We have a bunk right up here above the dinette. That'll come down right there with some support legs when you're not using it during the day. You can keep that bunk up in position and that way you have access to the dinette. And then we have an, uh, an optional conversion right here so you can use this as a lower bunk. So the table drops down and then you have a bunk there. So again, this sleeps five, plenty of room, but it's very compact. So this is only about 4,000 pounds dry. Um, so an SUV can tow this pretty easily. And we have up to 90 gallons of water on this. You can do 500 or 700 watts of solar, 300 amp hours of lithium batteries. And we have a 2000 watt inverter in it. This also runs a diesel, a Wabasa diesel furnace and hot water heater. So, and as we turn around here, we have a kitchen prep area again, hot and cold running water to the sink, lots of storage, big drawers, deep area, perfect place to prep that, that, that meal in the morning and make coffee. A lot of times we'll run an induction stove up here. So if you want to have an area for a small little cooktop, you can do that. And then for people that really want to have an indoor bathroom, we've got it in here. This is a nice wet bath. This one we've opted up for the composting toilet. You can do it with a macerator toilet as well, but we did set this one up with a composting toilet. It's not as popular as yet in the US, although it's getting there. And so we're excited to showcase this one. Again, two jerry can holders, so extra space to carry that fuel, extra gear. And then this is the trash bag. So it opens up, gives you a nice place to put extra trash on your tire cover. This one we have optioned up with the generator box. So if you want to carry a 2000 watt generator, it will fit in, in this box right here. Nice storage for that. Okay, on the front of the Quantum Plus, we have a nice deep storage area. Put your chairs, your outdoor carpets, heavier, larger gear right up there. Plenty of room that goes way down and back. There's a light on the inside there. We have the diesel can again for the furnace and then jerry cans for the diesel carrying right there. And this is an option we like a lot. This is a firewood rack. So when you're driving down a trail, uh, you see, happen to see firewood that you can burn, then you can go ahead and throw it up there, strap it down, gives you an option to carry that wood, um, throw it on there, and then when you get to your site, you're ready to go. And again, to finish things out, the we're using the Cruise Master DO35 on this, the arc jack, you have your handbrake, and the same proprietary independent trailing arm suspension that AOR built in-house. All right, you guys, so that is the AOR Quantum Plus and Odyssey. Really appreciate you guys taking a look at it. Um, we're xgridcampers.com. You can find us there. We have two locations, one in Las Vegas and now in Knoxville, Tennessee. So come out, take a look, and you can see these in person. Thanks so much.